All right. Well, welcome, everybody. Uh, if it's morning for you, good morning. If it's afternoon, good afternoon. If it's evening, good morning. So uh, today I'm going to be teaching on the A series, uh, Lowry organs. Uh, today I'm on a Sterling. Uh, so if you have that, congratulations. Uh, if you don't, you should get one. Uh, or if you have something better, good for you too. So uh, this will apply to a lot of people though too. If you have an SU series organ, this, this should mostly apply to you too, just the same. Um, as well as some of the smaller ones or bigger ones. So this will kind of help everybody. But I'm going to be teaching it on the A series, so it'll be a little bit more for that. Uh, but before we get started, uh, this is going to be more of a holiday geared class. I'm going to be talking about how to set up some songs for your holiday season. Um, but before we do that, I'm going to play uh, a holiday or Christmas song. It's called Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. This is just a fun one to play. It's actually super simple. And I'm just going to use the music. I have never played this except for uh, yesterday. I tried it, and I was thinking, oh, that's not too bad. Let's try it. So here's Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. Got to hit that applause button so it makes me feel like people are clapping because I can't hear you. I'm sure you are, though. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, that was rocking around the Christmas tree, as you can see. It was a nice, easy, maybe three chords. Yeah, three chords in the whole song. Oh, wait, there's one more. There was a D chord in there. But otherwise, just three or four chords the whole song. So that's a fun one to play if you haven't tried it. So uh, today, what I'm going to do is kind of talk about uh, setting up some songs for the holiday season. Uh, I'm just going to give you a few different uh, song titles and show you how I would set them up. And I don't know about you guys, but this holiday season, this Christmas season here, I just kind of want to relax, you know? It's been kind of a long and strange, difficult year, so uh, I, I just want to play some relaxing Christmas music. Uh, what I just played, that's not really my style. Normally, I like to make things nice and calm. I like the calm style of Christmas music. Uh, if it's too jolly, if they say jolly or Santa or presents, I'm like, eh, I don't know about that one. You know, I like the more traditional types or the more uh, ballad types of Christmas songs. So I'm going to kind of show you how I set a few of those up. Uh, the first song I'll talk about and one of my favorite styles of music here is that I'm going to talk about because it's sort of a calm style is jazz. I'm going to kind of turn things into like a softer jazz Christmas uh, version of these songs. Uh, and we're going to start with a song called Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. And a show of hands, anybody who's heard that song before. 
Wow, all of you, perfect, okay. That's what's great about Christmas songs is uh, they've got about six of them that they just play on repeat on the radio. So uh, you'll probably know most of these that I'll talk about. The second one, maybe not quite as much, but this one, uh, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. Uh, one of my favorite versions was uh, Judy Garland has a great one. If you want to write that down, you can look it up later on Google or what have you. Uh, but what I like to do is take a, a jazz approach. So if I touch those rhythm styles on the left of the organ there, there is one called swing. Okay, I'm going to touch the swing button, and you can't quite see it on this uh, view that I have here. Well, maybe you can on this other one. Probably not because it's blurry as heck with this Internet here. But... Um, if you see here, it pulled up all these rhythm styles on the right side, and one of them uh, actually says the word jazz in it. It's called Jazz Club. So I'm going to touch that here. And uh, if you're anything like me, which, well, hopefully you're not, but hopefully you're better than that, but if you're anything like me, you like to see what these sound like before you play them. So what I do is... If I'm not sure if this is going to suit the song, you know, you pull the song up, have yourself a merry little Christmas, and you say, what kind of rhythm will work for this? A lot of the time what I like to do is just kind of touch a couple of them and test them out. I'll touch one and go. And then I say, no, I don't like that one. And then I go to another one, try that. doesn't make me think, have yourself a merry little Christmas. Uh, but I'm going to go to the jazz club style, because I already picked that out before. So we're going to do have yourself a merry little Christmas with the jazz club. And I'm just going to listen to that first and see if I like the sound. It's nice. It, got, it has that jazz feel I like, but it's, it's a little fast and there's a little bit much going on. And like I said, I want a calm holiday season. So I'm going to calm this down a little bit. So first I'm going to take, and I'm going to slow my band down. Does anybody know how to do that? You can unmute yourself and tell me how to do it. A tempo button. Tempo button, yes. There's an up arrow and a down arrow. Which one slows them down? Uh, down arrow. <laughs> down arrow, down. yeah. Down arrow, yeah. What tempo are you? Okay, yep. So out of the tempo buttons, if you want to slow it down, you touch down. And I'm going to play this. I'm going down to 80. 80. So I'm going nice and slow. It came up, where did it come up? At. Uh, it came up at 114. I'm slowing it down to 80 because I want a nice, calm version of this song. So I'm going to 80. And then if I listen to that background here, there's still kind of a lot going on there. There's something humming in the back. Do you guys hear that? Yes. There's, you, sometimes you might notice, and this is a question I get all the time, is how do I get rid of that hum? There's, a, there's something humming in there, and I don't like it. Well, I'll teach you how to do that, and you can do this with any song, okay? So in the background of this, there's a hum. You hear that? And it just keeps going. Yucky. Uh, the way you turn that off, and like I said, you can use this for anything. There's a button, a tab, I should say, right in the center of the organ. And it says lower tabs. And what that tab does, um, let me do this here. I want to show it to you a little closer so you can actually see what I'm doing. If I can, hold on a second. Whoa, okay, there we go. <laughs> all right, so right in the center of the instruments, you have all these tabs on the left, and you have these tabs on the right. The tabs on the left here, they're all controlled by this single red tab that says lower tabs here. So no matter which lights are on here, you could have all of these on. And if I touch that red one that says lower tabs right here, 
it deactivates all of these down here. So now, even if they're lit, they're not playing. So what that does is it's going to take that hum away, because these tabs are the things that are kind of humming in the background. Okay, had to switch back to my other one here. Okay, so now that you got that, that's a secret tip you can use on any song. If you get that hum to go away, just turn off that tab and they're gone. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn these off anyway. So now it's going to sound a lot cleaner. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do, <laughs> is I'm going to take out my Orchestra Plus. I don't know if you can see it. There's a light all the way over here. And if I touch it, they go away. Those are all those excess band members. Uh, we've taught several classes where we explain that, that button a little bit more. So you can check them out if you haven't seen them. But if I turn off that Orchestra Plus, it really thins it out. So all I have now are drums, bass, and what's called your genie or your strummer or your piano player. So now let me just touch any chord. Just here's a C chord. Oh, that's nice. Nice and calm, just piano, drums, and bass. And I'm going to go even one step further here. I'm going to touch one more button, because I don't know about you guys, but when uh, I'm hearing a rhythm, and sometimes the drums are just too tingy to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just my ears. Uh, but I'm going to touch a button called drum variation, and listen to this change. Isn't that nice? Now I have a drummer who's using brushes. If you've ever seen that in a jazz trio, you might see a guy with brushes against the snare drum. So now I have the perfect type of uh, rhythm to play my song. It sounds like a lot of steps. I just kind of slowed them down. So really all I did, and here's to recap if you want to write notes, uh, for Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, I like to use Jazz Club. That's the rhythm. I slow it down to a tempo of 80. I turn off my lower tabs button, because I don't want that hum. I turned off my orchestra plus, because I don't want all those people playing. And then I told my drummer to do a different variation. So I used drum variation, and he started using the brushes. That's... That's what I did. So let's listen uh, to see how it sounds now. And actually, I'm going to do one more thing. One more thing here. Uh, my right hand, it has a piano on it. But as you can see, it, it doesn't have that pressure sensitivity. Do you guys know how to change that or what that button would be called? Because every time I hit it, it's the same volume. Dynamic, dynamic keying. Dynamic keying. Write that down. If you're going to play a piano, which is what I'm, it's already on here. I'm just going to play the piano that comes up. I want my dynamic keying button on. Because what that does is it gives you that natural uh, pressure sensitivity. Like if I touch it soft, it'll play soft. If I touch it loud or hard, oop. If I touch it hard, it'll play loud, just like a real piano. I love that button. However, if, I, if you notice that, that button, if you can see, it's all the way right here, dynamic keying, it's actually on. But it's still not activated. Well, that's annoying. Sometimes that'll happen. Uh, so what you can do, here's a shortcut, and you can use this for a lot of things on the organ. I'm going to touch and hold the feature button. And then I'm going to touch that dynamic keying button. OK. And what it, what it did is you can't quite see it, but it gave me some more options on the screen, which I don't need to go into too much. Uh, but any time uh, you think of any of these buttons on here, and it doesn't work on all of them, but a lot of these buttons on the panel, if you want something else, like if you're curious that, I wonder if there are more options or something I can adjust with this setting. You can hold that feature m button I just did and then touch the other button. And a lot of the time, it'll give you extra options that you can do. And right now, it's got the uh, 
dynamic keying set to off on my screen. Even though the button's on on the menu, it's off. Go figure, but that's how you solve that issue. So let me just play through this for a second just to see kind of how we made it sound. I'll start with just my drummer. That's nice, nice and soft and relaxing for me. You might say, I would play that so much differently, <laughs> or so differently, and that's okay. I want that. I want you guys to play it how you like it. But this is a good, uh, nice, slow way to play that song if you have it. If you don't have it, you can talk to your local store or call any of us, really, and we will do our best to get something to you to play that song. Because um, I don't have it with me. I tried looking all over the place for it, and I couldn't find it at our store here. I just happen to remember those uh, chords for now. But uh, let's take a couple questions here. I see Inez has a question. Go ahead. Let me unmute you there. Go ahead. Yeah. Did you use any general presets? What I did with presets is I actually just played what came up in the zero okay. position. It just has a, it already has a piano on there. Okay. So it's good to go. But like I, I said, see. I just turned on that dynamic keying as well. Okay. If so even though it says off, when you push features and dynamic keying, it comes up to off, you turn it on? Yeah, you, yeah. I don't know why, oh. but sometimes it does that. I'm sure there's a reason for it, you know. Okay. Uh, but what I did is with the dynamic keying button on, I noticed it's still not, it's still not working. So if you touch and hold feature... Right. Then touch dynamic keying. Right. It gives you extra options on the screen. And it's, sometimes it has dynamic keying on the top, but not the bottom, on the bottom, not the top, things like that. Mm -hmm. And you can just turn all of them to on on the screen if you want to. Okay. Thank but, you. Yeah. So give it a try just to see what it does. You could do that. And Jerry, question? Uh, if you uh, change presets after you've done that dynamic keying, does it go away? Can you change to another preset? If I change, pre yes, yes. All the stuff that I just did, because I just did that right now. I went to the zero position. And what did it what it did is it turned my drums back to normal. It turned the Orc Plus back on, and it put the tabs back on. So it sounds okay. noisy again. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's a good yeah. question. Yeah, what you can do if you don't want that is you can lock. Do you guys know how to use the locks? Yeah. These, uh, yeah, these are great because if you have it set just the way you like it and you want to change your preset sound, so instead of a piano, maybe switch to a, a flute, you know, something nice. If you want to change it and not change the background, hit the lock button, look at your screen, and one of them says accompaniment. Accompaniment. So lock the accompaniment. So that ta that tells this whole left side of the organ here to stay the same. Don't change anything. Just change the right hand. Okay? So that's just one step that I like. Yeah, of course, of course. Any other questions while we're kind of paused here? Uh, yes, Wayne. Yeah, Wayne. Go yeah. ahead. So I did what you said, Sean. I pushed mm -hmm. the feature clear and dynamic keying. I got uh -huh. a screen of options on my Liberty. Sure. And there's something that says after touch off. Ah, yes. After touch is a totally different feature we won't worry about today. Um, 
I could go into it. If there's time at the end of the class, maybe I'll go into that a little bit. But we don't need it for anything we're doing today. So leave that as off. Okay. And let me just show you guys what, what comes up because there might be some more questions on it. I'm just going to switch cameras to the other one I have, which is looking at the ceiling and upside down. There we go. Okay. So when you touch the dynamic keying button with the feature menu held down, it's hard to see because of the lights, but it gives you all these different options. See how some of them say off, some of them say on? If, if you're not sure which one you're playing, just turn them all on, except aftertouch. You don't need that. Aftertouch just makes the sound have vibrato. So if you know what that is, you can use it, but otherwise you don't really need that for much of anything. So turn the rest of them on, though, if you want them on. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay. So that's just one setup I like for that song. If, Like I said, if you don't have the music, you can, uh, you know, send out for it. <laughs> you can look online for different books, or you can t contact your local store. Uh, I, I might be able to find it somewhere, so if you want to email me, you can try that. And if I've found it by then, I can try sending it to you. But I'm um, not, I can't promise. Yep, yep, somebody? I just looked it up. It's in book 215, page 74. Perfect. Perfect. So, all right. So I'm going to move on to another song that I want to kind of jazz up. This is actually originally a jazz song. I do have the music for this one. I might try sending it out, but we're, we're, we're finding it's, it's not the most... Uh, hold on a second. Uh, but our next song that I'm going to talk about that we're going to jazzify is actually originally a jazz piece, and it's called Christmas Time is Here. Does anybody know the film that this is from? This is from a movie. Well, sort of a short, I guess, but. Charlie Brown. Yeah, that's it. The Charlie Brown Christmas special, uh, which, you know, has been out for several years. I think it came out in, what, the 60s or actually may maybe late 50s. I'll look that up, but it's been around at least 60 years. So hopefully you heard this uh, at some point in the last 60 years. Uh, but it's called Christmas Time Is Here, and it's such a beautiful jazz tune written by Vince Guaraldi. And if you don't know, it has a time signature on the top. You see what that is? What's that called? 3-4. What's that called? Waltz. Waltz. Oh. Thank you. That is a waltz. So I'm going to touch which button to find a style. Waltz. Waltz. Thank you. So I touch the waltz button, and what do you know? There's actually one on my touch screen that says jazz waltz. So that's the style I'm going to use, jazz waltz. And this is just a really, really pretty style. But listen to what comes up. Right when I touch jazz waltz, and I'm just going to touch any old chord here, uh, let's do a C chord. One, two, three. One, two. That's way too fast. So I like that style, but I'm going to slow that way down. And you know what? I'm going to go to 90. I'm going to do a tempo of 90 for that. So I'm going to almost half it. The tempo it comes up at is 140. So I'm going to go almost half of that. I'm going to go to 90. And uh, does anybody know a good shortcut for changing the tempo? That's my, my pop quiz. Any shortcuts you can think of? Do it faster. Go to the numbers bar by the alphabet and go to the numbers. Exactly. Okay, so I'm gonna let me grab my other camera. I'll show you what I'm what she just said here. Whoop. Okay. Look at this. Whoa, almost broke the cord here. So my tempo, if you can see it there, 140, way too fast. If I want to slow that down, but I don't want to tap that tempo button, you know, 60 times or 50 times. I want to go to keypad. If I just tap in the number 90, there's 90, and now I'm just going to touch either tempo button. Look at that. It went straight to 90. Everybody got that? 
keypad. Type in the number 90 and put it in either tempo button. Now let me switch back to my regular camera. Okay, that's a shortcut. So that's just kind of a trick you can write down if you're and use that on any song. Doesn't have to be for this. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to pick a sound that I like for the right hand, and I want another piano. I'm going to play it exactly like I played the last one because I want the same feel. I want the same band. So this time I'm going to play with a piano as well. And what do you know? The dynamic keying is off again. So I'm going to do that same button and turn it on. So it's on now. And now I'm going to make some adjustments. And I'm going to do the exact same adjustments I made on the last song. And if you remember what they are, number one, lower tabs off. Number two, orchestra plus off. I don't want all those people playing. And the third one, I'm going to change my drummer and tell him to use his variation. Because without it, it had that kind of loud. So I don't want that. I want him to use the brushes again. So I'm going to touch variation. And now he's doing the brushes again. So, so now listen to this one. Here's the, the Sean version of this song. Jazzify it here. So here's uh, Christmas time is here. So that would be, you know, how I would like to do Christmas songs. Uh, when I play, I like it to be nice and calm. I think that's the best part of the season to me is just the kind of uh, the ether that you, you're under the whole, you know, several months, I guess, leading up to. But uh, it's just a nice kind of calm weather, calm atmosphere. And I like to kind of play it a nice little jazz versions of songs like that. Um, the upbeat ones are fun, too, but... Those are just a couple setups. I could do one more. Do we have any questions or any, any comments even? Anything like that before I move on to the next segment? OK. I don't see any. Oh, there's one. Jerry, go ahead, Jerry. I, I just looked up out of curiosity that song. And oh, yeah. it, it, was, it came out in 1965 on TV. Yep, it was a made-for-TV special. There you go, 1965. Right. So it's been around a little while, so hopefully you've seen it. If you haven't, whether you celebrate Christmas or not, it's a cute movie, you know. It's a kind of uplifting. So, And my favorite part is the music. If you listen to the music the whole time, it is on point and good. Very, very good. So any other questions or comments? Yes, I have a question. Um... If you wanted to go from, are they both in the key of C? If you wanted to go uh, from one to the other while you had the setup, could mm -hmm. you play the one that you played first and then move on to this one? You totally could. The The hard part with that is they're, the time they is. are different keys. Uh, they're or different the versions keys. I have anyway are different keys. Uh, one of them is, well, the first one was C. This one is in F. 
Uh, you can still go from one to the other pretty easily without making too much of a, a big deal, but the only big part is that they are different time signatures as well. So the Correct. first one was 4-4, four, four, and, and this, this one is 3-4. Right. But if you save, if you if you like things like that and you save them in your banks, you know, we've talked about yeah, that in the past. I was past. thinking if I recorded it, you know, I record. I have a liberty and I record. And so I, I yeah. thought, well, you know, if I recorded it, I could play one of them. And while I had it all set up, sure. I could play the other. Yeah, I think that's a great idea, especially with this type of music. That's why I chose those two I, because I, like I can. That. I like yeah. that very much. Yeah, because yeah. you can set them up exactly the same way. It sounds almost like the same band in the background yeah. is playing yeah. both, even though I use two different styles. Or you could play that one first and then play the other. You know, the exactly. way around. I think yeah. it would be nice. Yeah, okay. it's it's that's great. Better. Thank you. Yeah. Now, Good when question. you started, you did not use the canned intros on either time you just hit a chord and it played yeah the drums. well the first one what i did and you could do it with both really is you know i already lost it let me put it put on that jazz club one again uh you can start it with just drums that's what i like to do sometimes oh, if you just push the drum thing yep yep or just do a little what they call smash chord or no chord i know that yep and then come in whenever you're ready maybe do a fill uh, okay Okay, but then you have to take it off, right? Take what off? The drums? Or the drums, after you've done that. No, nope, you just do a little fill and then come in with whatever the chord is in your melody, just right away. Yep. Okay, got it. Good. All right, well, just a couple other things, because, you know, that might not be everybody's cup of tea. Maybe you want to play the upbeat and fast type Christmas songs, just a kind of a, a hint at where to find some of the the best sounds uh, for the holiday season. Uh, on your right hand, you have these category presets, and one of them says more. You know, you've got theater, country, big band, show tunes, Latin. If you touch the more button, it just gives you more buttons, basically. And on probably the first page with most, most of you, there is actually a category of sounds called holidays. Perfect. You know, so you have things like Jolly vocals, you know. And then you have things like bells and more choirs and kind of lush strings. A lot of good sounds. So just wanted to make sure you knew those were there. Another type of sound that is associated with Christmas music are bells. So you might have another category called bells. So if I touch that bells button, I get all sorts of different types. So you can toy around with those. No pun intended. The last one was called a toy piano. So uh, you can toy around with those. They have some great, great sounds for Christmas songs. So holidays or bells, try those too. Those will be good, good options for you. Uh, the last song I'll mention, because I think this is a really, really uh, nice, um, like I said, I'm kind of a traditional Christmas goer. I like uh, one of my favorites, and I can't remember what button it's in, so I'm going to use a shortcut, but there's a song called Oh Holy Night. You might have heard of that one. Uh, this one's great because you don't have to do much of any adjustments. The, like all those adjustments I made for those songs, they're really specific, and I like them. But this Oh Holy Night uh, set up here, if I go to a rhythm called, does anybody know the rhythm that, that would be best for that song? 6-8 or 3-4. Close. There's a rhythm actually called Holy Night. So if you touch Holy Night, that gives you the perfect, perfect setup for Oh Holy Night. And I don't make any adjustments to this. I think this sounds perfect as it is. And what you can do is you can start on the lower keyboard. And then when you want to get it, make it go big, you go to the top. So let me show you kind of the, on the bottom, you got this really, really nice horn sound. So let me show you that real quick. I'll put the introduction on and just play a little bit of that song. And you'll see what I mean. It's got the perfect setup. You don't have to change a thing.
perfect, just as is. All I did in the middle is I went to the top, and actually I turned on my drum variation. So if you're familiar with that song, just play it as it is. It sounds great on these instruments. Uh, rhythm, Holy Night. Question? How did you get to the uh, holidays and bells? How did you get to that? Just... Let me show you. Let me show you. I'm going to switch to that other camera so you can see it a little better. Try not to tangle it. Sorry about that. Um, on the right side of your keyboards here, right above it, you have something called category presets. And you have all these examples, theater, country, big band, and then there's one called more. So I'm going to touch that because I want some. I want to see some more options. And then they come up on your screen. And they're right next to each other. You have one that says bells, one that says holidays. And all it's going to do is it's going to throw a bunch of bell sounds into these 10 presets. And if I change to holidays, oops, it takes holiday sounds and puts it in all of those presets there. All right. Okay. Any other questions on that? I've, uh, another thing I like to do with, with that particular style, Holy Night, uh, has anybody heard the song Hallelujah? It's become kind of uh, more popular in recent years as, uh, I think, uh, Leonard Cohen, I think in the 70s. Uh, he had a song called Hallelujah. I don't think it was very popular at the time, but in recent years it's kind of blown up. Uh, but it's a really, really pretty song. And if you have the music for it anywhere, you can try it with this exact same rhythm, same sounds. You could even make a medley out of them. If you don't know the song, that's okay. But uh, it, yeah, it's called Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen. I could show you it so sounds like this here. It's almost got a very, very similar sound to that one. So I'll see if you recognize this. start playing longer I got into it but that's a that's a fun fun song to play and you can kind of put those together if you like that song uh, Inez question yeah you, you didn't use any presets just zero exactly on that last one I just used preset zero it gives you a okay. horn on the bottom right lower right and then strings on the top but that what that that rhythm's great because every single one of the presets that kind of go with it they're all fantastic. They put some great sounds in there for you, so it's easy to kind of go from preset to preset on that one. Now I'm getting jolly vocals on the top. Oh, that's because you have the holidays category still on. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh, I wasn't playing with the holidays category. I was playing with oh. just the uh, rhythm presets for Holy Night, so the Holy Night songs. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. But jo the, the holidays one is great if you want to play usually more of those upbeat type Christmas songs. Okay. Or just use the easy button alone. That's kind of fun. Uh, Wayne, okay. did you have a question? Yeah, I, I guess I missed a boat here. <laughs> how, did you get, how did you get to the Oh Holy Night uh, preset? I actually just put on the rhythm called Holy Night. Um, it's in the, if you have one of these, uh, I think you said you had Liberty. Was that you? Yeah. 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 Uh, it's on the button called classic oh. or classical. There's a rhythm called holy night on the touch screen there. I see it. Yeah, and if you can't find it, you guys know you can use the keypad as well. That's what I did because I actually forgot where it was too. 
There are a lot of rhythms. You do that sometimes. So if you go to keypad and your alphabet screen, holy starts with the letter H. So I touch the letter H, and it'll bring me to my style list, and I find it that way. So. And in song setup? Thank you. Yeah, in song setup as well. Just remember it's O setup. Holy Night with yeah. the letter O. Yeah, in song setup. Yeah. There you go. But that's a really, really fun song to play, and you don't have to do much of any setup work. So just a nice, soft one. So that's uh, pretty much Christmas Sean style. Uh, Inez, did you have another question? No? Oh, okay. I saw your hand raised. All right. So that's Christmas Sean style. I like to have a nice kind of calm and soothing, uplifting uh, season. Uh, but if you want those upbeat type sounds and styles, uh, look through the instrument on the, like I said, holidays and bells. Those are great sounds for any type of Christmas song. Um, and on the rhythms, you have several as well. I know there's a rhythm called sleigh bells that you can try. Um, it's good for things like jingle bells, things like that. But uh, let's see. Any other questions? I'm going to wrap up. I'm going to do a couple announcements, and then I'm going to play a fun, actually upbeat song on the way out. So play something what, fun here. What book was Hallelujah in? Um, I can't remember the the, ty uh, the the number of the book, but there is a, a book called Hallelujah. Um, and it's like, it's something like Hallelujah and 40 other songs. or It's kind of a generic title, but it's called Hallelujah is the Hal Leonard book. So look for that one. I know it's in that. Thank you. But yeah, great, great song. So you can check it out as well. Um, otherwise, yeah, just a couple announcements uh, this week. We are not having our regular uh, weekly variety classes. Oh, no. What do I do? Well, that's great because this is a good week for uh, kind of touching base with your personal assistant if you have one. If you don't, get one. They're free. Uh, it's a good time to touch base with us and see, ask us any questions. Uh, do a one-on-one. -on -one. We can do these, you know, not a whole class with what do we have, 70 people right now in here? We can do this one-on-one -on -one if you'd like. You know, Check with us and, and do that. that. This is a good week for that. Um, in addition, we do have a couple more this week, I think Thursday and Friday. We have some more um, product choice uh, concerts. So we're going to have Jerome Johnson doing one and Don Casanova, I believe, doing another. And we are going to pick out an instrument and blow it out of the water for you and play on it and have a good time. So don't miss those. We are going to have some fun with that. Uh, the only other thing I'll mention is we do have what's called a Patreon website now. Uh, it's You don't have to worry about it too much. You might see it on our emails. It'll say Patreon uh, link or here's a link to our Patreon.com. Uh, it's just another way to find our videos that we've been uh, posting. And what's nice is we can put attachments on them. So that's why we're starting to use that, because you can either download music or download uh, the, the materials a lot more easily. Uh, so we might go that direction at some point, and it does have kind of a subscription you can get to us, you know, things like that. So you can check it out if you want to. That's just another option. But uh, I think that's all I got for now. Uh, check your email to see if you get some uh, new news on concerts and activities coming up. But otherwise... Talk to your personal assistants. So John, on the way out, go ahead, Barbara. John, mm -hmm. Hallelujah is in book 104. Ah, 104. That's the one. Thank Hallelujah you. Hallelujah, book you guys. 104. Thank and you. And I recorded it on Continental Brass. Ooh. And it was great. really cool. Kind yeah. of an upbeat. <laughs> kind of an upbeat version, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let me do this. I'm going to put this camera back up here if I can. Hold on just a second. Thanks, hey, Sean. Our, you're welcome, you guys. I hope you had a good time and at least got a little bit of something, some ideas out of it. And if you don't want to use these setups, you don't have to. That's what's great. Uh, but try them out. They're kind of fun. And I'm going to play a song on our way out called Deck the Halls. So this is a really fun one. If I use the song setup here, what it does, I saved it in here, but what the song setup does is it gives you a rhythm called East Coast Swing and Jive. And it's kind of the Mannheim steamroller version, if you've heard of that. 
So here is Deck the Halls. This is kind of a fun one here. Thank you, everybody. And again, like I said, I hope you got something out of it and had a good time. And uh, we will see you. We've got more product feature classes coming up. Uh, feel free and join any of the ones we've got coming. So thanks again, and have a good day. See you later. Thanks. Of course. Thank you very much, Sean. Of course. Thank you, Sean. Thanks, Sean. Thank you very much. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> thanks, Sean. Great job, Sean. Uh -huh.